I show you how to take gingerbread cookies and make a great lima bean side dish up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. <laughs> She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park. The passion at the park. The passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I get letters all the time on my website, jolene'strailerpark.com, asking for easy side dishes. Well, I found one, and you know, a lot of people don't like lima beans, but I really do. Well, the best thing with lima beans is bacon, but today we're going to be doing something different. And that different is ginger snap cookies. Yes, it sounds unusual, but it's really good. I'm going to show you how to make my ginger snap lima beans up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my baked lima beans with ginger snaps is sure a change of pace for side dishes, and it's super simple to make. I've got a bowl here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a cup of regular sour cream and just put that right on into the bowl, just like that. Now, I like to use regular sour cream because I'm not all about light sour cream. I don't know what that is. I don't know. what It just doesn't taste the same. I've got two tablespoons of brown sugar here, and that's just going to go right on into the sour cream. And you're going to need about a tablespoon of very grainy mustard. And I've got this nice grainy mustard here, so I don't even measure it. So we're going to just, let's give it, oh, that looks so nice in there. It just has a real nice kick to it. And the mustard seed, I just like that kind of taste. And we're going to give it even more a kick with a shot of Worcester, Wor Worcester, you know that kind of sauce, whatever that is. We're going to put that on in there. Just about a tablespoon of that. And I'm going to mix this together and get this started. Because this is going to be the base for our lima beans. And wow, it, it smells really good already. And just mix it around. There we go. And I've got about a 16 ounce package of... Um, baby lima beans here and we're going to put that in just like a casual dish right here and you could use any dish that you like and let me put that away there and what we're going to do is we're going to mix this sauce into the green beans that are down at the base of the casserole dish get every bit of it because that is just really good this is going to make the lima beans taste good now there's people out there that don't like lima beans, so I can't promise that they're going to like this, but it's definitely different, especially with the ginger snaps. So let's just mix that all around. And I try not to get it up the side of the dish so it doesn't look all awful on the buffet table. Okay, these are the ginger snap cookies that I've crushed up. And at the bottom, I melted some um, butter in the microwave, a half a stick. And I'm just going to mix this around so I can get them all coated. And this is going to make a nice, crusty topping to our lima beans. And it's going to have a kick of that ginger snap, too, which is going to be very surprising. And let's just mix that on up with the butter. 
there we go. Now we've got our lima bean and our sour cream mixture all in the bottom there. And we're going to take our ginger snap mixture and put it right on top real pretty like. And this is going to make this outstanding crust and get every last bit of it on there. There we go. And spread it out. There we go. Now I've preheated our oven at 350 degrees and we're going to pop it in there for about 45 minutes. So set your timer. have it, my ginger snap lima beans. This is a great side dish that you could serve with ham or maybe just on the buffet table with whatever is available. But it's got that great ginger snap topping that we made and a mixture inside of sour cream and that grainy mustard and a kick of some spices too. It really turns the blot of the lima beans into something really great. And I just can't wait to try this. So let me get a little bit of the topping and the lima beans. Mmm. That is really good. Mmm. It's got the crunch and mmm. The tang of the mustard and wow, that really livens those lima, be lima beans. I couldn't even say them anymore. It was so good. Lima beans. Mmm. I hope you get a chance to make my ginger snap lima beans, and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm there too. And visit the newly redesigned JoleneSugarBaker.com. Hit that big old subscribe button because there'll be some more cooking shows right around the corner. I love y'all, and I'll see you back real soon. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide.